Attention citizens of planet Remulac, the gelatin pools will close in five time units. All hail Kuldroth, High Master of Seven Galaxies and Inheritor of the Megmazome Genetic Chain. Hail, High One. <laughs> Enough. Allow me to felicitate you on your pair meeting. I trust your cones are now well honed. Yes, we did not leave our gloves chamber for 17 time units. <laughs> <laughs> you, Beldar, and you, Primat, have been chosen to assume a new position in our space program. Hi, Master. We are honored to have been selected. Together, my mate Primat and I can meet any challenge. What is it? You are to speed your way to a remote solar system on the frontier and seize a tiny planet inhabited by inferior beings who call themselves humans. <laughs> Using these humans <laughs> as a slave labor force, you will establish a minor protoid refueling station for my massive fleet of star cruisers on their way to mine the ore clouds of Glangzeep. This Larflow catalog contains all you need to know about the Earthlings and their ways. No problem. This structure is the United Nations. It houses an assembly of Earth nations. You will land your star cruiser here and demand that the Secretary General of the United Nations report to you immediately. Beldar, we are approaching their puny solar system. Perhaps we should rehearse your speech again. Very well. I will put the guidance controls on automatic. Here. People of Earth. Your weapons. I am Beldar, the timekeeper. Ah. People of Earth. I am Beldar, the timekeeper, from the planet Remulac. Your weapons are useless against us. I know, I know, I was only pausing. Well, you don't have to bite off my cone. Mips. 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 Ah! Why do I not simply read the speech? Unacceptable. You must commit it to memory. Maintain low tones. Maintain low tones. Do you want me to guide the craft? Mebs, Mebs. Slow down, Beldar, or we will miss the planet entirely. Just provide me with the coordinate indices and leave the craft guidance to me. As I previously indicated, these are the coordinate indices. That is not what you showed me, Mebs. Mebs. Well, now we must stop and reassess our approach. You pointed to the left at the rings of Strogon. situations.
Once we have established a base of operations, we will construct a monotron crystal to inform Remulac of our situation. Yes, a rescue. Yes. People of Earth, I am Beldar, timekeeper from the planet Remulac. Your weapons are useless. <laughs> Aparicio didn't like that call, and he's letting umpire Matty Coleman know about it. Now he's stepping back in the box, and here's the wind-up. Hey, what's going on here, fellas? Hello? Greetings, person of Earth. Your weapons are useless against us. Hey, who are you people? I am Beldar. Beldar? Correct. This is my mate, Primat. Primat? Correct. These ion bombardment tube devices, they are your televisions? Well, they're, they're not mine. No, I, I repair them, and they've been stacking up lately. I can't seem to figure out these new Japanese sets. Japanese? Japanese. Inhabitants of the island nation of Japan, known for their social cohesiveness, interdiscipline, and consumption of raw fish. Ah, this is a primitive device, easily made serviceable. So, you dwell alone here in this thin metal alloy box? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, careful with that high voltage cathode. You sure you know what you're doing? Allow me. Let's see that again. A fantastic shoestring catch by Lopez to end the inning. So after six and a half, it's New York four, the Sox one. And now let's take a seventh inning stretch with a cool, refreshing, frosty brew. Boy, you know, you do good work, Mr. Uh... Conehead. Beldar Conehead. Oh, I'm Louis. Louis Bouchard. Hey, listen, I do need some help around here. And we are seeking gainful employment. Perhaps we could formulate some arrangement. Look, I don't care where you're from. This is America. Heck, my grandfather came over from France. And that's all anyone has to know. Uh, by the way, uh, where do you come from? We, too, come from France. Okay. Well, then, uh, this is all going to have to be done under the table. Very well. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what I meant was, I don't want any trouble with the government. All fixed in a half an hour. Wow, what service. And a fair price, too. Anytime. Ah, the evening meal. What has been prepared? Hunks of previously feathered flesh prepared in molten fat tissues of the same animal. What? Fried chicken. Ah, I will enjoy it. We invite you to consume mass quantities with us. Uh, well, maybe a beer. Beldar. Yes? Has your sleep phase begun? No. There is something I must tell you. I ask you, what is it? Beldar, do you recall last week when we were honing our cones? Mm, affirmative. Beldar. I am with Cone. This pleases me. Of course, I will supervise the birthing. Beldar, I tell you, I am scared. An appropriate emotion. But your Cone is sturdy. You will make an excellent mother. The Geneto engineers of Keldroth were not mistaken when they paired us. And you, Beldar, will make a fine paternal unit. Mm, you have stimulated me. Allow me to administer the Senso rings to you. <laughs> no more after this one, Beldar. This is it. Yes, yes, I am in agreement. Beldar! Ah, I see the little cone. 
Push, primat, push. <laughs> it is a female. Daddy's little cone. And she shall be named Connie. Primat, the capacitor has arrived. Finally. If this capacitor can withstand 35,000 volts, the monotron crystal will function, and we will at last communicate with our home planet, Remulac. Then finally, after six Earth years, we can take leave of this miserable planet. Let's see. The farthite crystal is directly engaged with the Klagsorb, thus multiplying the voltage exponentially and enabling us to beam a particle wave to Remulac at 20 million times the speed of Earth light. All right, plug it in. <laughs> Our young one has returned from her programming center. Good. I'll put the food into the heat. I am preparing Connie's favorite meal. Tubes made from the intestinal walls of hooved mammals and packed with their byproducts. Ah, hot dogs. I will enjoy them. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Greetings, young one. How was school today? The kids at school know that I am different from them. They want to know where I come from. Daddy, where do we come from? France. You just keep telling them you come from France. No way, Dad. I found that to be an inadequate response. Maintain low tones. Maintain low tones. Dear, I think the time has come to tell the young one the story of our family. No, I do not agree. Someday, when your cone is a little bigger, we will tell you these things. Until then, just do your homework and tell everyone we come from France. Oh, Daddy. Take heed, young one. Now it is time to consume mass quantities. This is it. Our final attempt. If this malfunctions, we may be stranded on this miserable world for centuries. I can't watch. Ah! Good. Within moments, we will be in communication with Remulac. Beldar, the High Master expects that we have completed construction of a fully operational protoid refueling station. I know. We have done nothing to accomplish this mission. I know. I know. It bat farvat klatu. All hail Kaldroth, High Master of Seven Galaxies. Eight. Ah, congratulations. Beldar, why have you waited so long to communicate? Have you completed the Meebgon arches for docking the Star Cruisers? Uh, construction on the Meebgon arches has not yet been completed, High Master. No? Has the slave labor force been giving you difficulty? No, they have not. Troubled us, High Master. Well, what are the Lomium gas tents for the pilots to relax? Um, High Master, we have fallen behind schedule. I ask you, what are you telling me? Our star cruiser. Beldar misguided it into a large fluid mass. Mebs, you were responsible for the coordinate indices. Mebs, 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 Mebs. Enough. So you are telling me that you have not yet even seized the planet? No. no. Very well. I will dispatch a special envoy to help you with your task. Meanwhile, please relocate within 20 miles of the United Nations and prepare yourselves. All hail Kaldroth, High Ma
boy, those new neighbors sure are strange. Oh, Barry, you never get along with any of our neighbors. You said the same thing about the Krugers. The Krugers were strange. They have a son in prison, don't they? Look, honey, these people are digging up their lawn. Well, maybe they're putting in a sprinkler system or a pool or something. I don't know. They're awfully weird. Oh, don't be silly, Barry. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow morning, we'll be good neighbors and bring over a coffee ring. Okay. This particle collector is inefficient. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> I'll get it. Hi. Uh, we're your next door neighbors, the Paisners. I'm Cheryl, and this is Barry. Greetings. And her. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Cohen. Conehead. Beldar Conehead. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know what I was thinking. This is Primat, my mate, and our young one, Connie. Hi. Well, we thought we'd be neighborly, so we brought over a nice coffee ring. No, no, not in front of the young one. <laughs> Please, enter our central living quarters and be seated. Uh, thank you. Mom, Dad. I must leave for my high diving practice. Bye, Connie. Nice to meet you. Bye, Mrs. Paisner. Bye, Mr. Paisner. A cute kid. Thank you. So how do you like Parkwood Hills? Uh, Cheryl and I have been here five years, and we're just in love with the place. Our new home is more than adequate shelter. And it is visually pleasing. Yes, and I love what you've done with the place. Further, the backyard is of sufficient size to accommodate a star cruiser. A helicopter. Uh, why, is the president coming for a visit or something? Perhaps. <laughs> well, um, I guess we should get going. Uh, yeah, I, I have to fertilize a lawn. Fertilize? Fertilize. The union of male and female gametic nuclei. Very well. Goodbye. You'll have to come over to our house sometime. Nice meeting you, Mr. and Mrs. Conehead. Conehead! The name is Conehead. It is hard to understand the ways of these strange sub-creatures. Imagine producing a sensor ring in front of a young one. Builder, we are alone. Shall we try the Earthling sensor ring? What? Now? Here? Yes. Mm. 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 We must send millions of these edible sensor rings back to Remulac for the festival of Clatheral. I don't think Mr. Nitty's telling us all that he knows. I'll bring him downtown and have a little talk with him. Leave. Bring the car. Hi, Mom. The back. Hi, Get Dad. Up. Connie, your cone. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. But, Dad, my date is taking me to a rock concert. Date? Date. The oblong edible fruit of a tree indigenous to subtropical regions of this planet. Wrong, Mom. Date. Prearranged meeting between two potentially amorous individuals. It is time for the young one to know, Beldar. Yes, Daddy. I ask you, why am I different? Very well. I am Beldar, timekeeper from the planet Remulac. Oh, no, the worst. Your mother and I were dispatched to this planet by the High Master himself to establish a protoid refueling station. However, your mother miscalculated the coordinate indices. No, Beldar, it was you who was at the controls. There was nothing faulty with my guidance skills. It was the coordinate indices. Mebs, Mebs. Mebs. But I ask you, what happened? I... Lost the speech I was to make. Times, dates, instructions for the United Nations. We know it has been difficult for you, young one. But at last we have good news. At any moment now, a star cruiser will arrive to change forever the ways of this planet and to return us to our home 16 light years away. Oh, no! What a drag! For once in my life, things are starting to go my way. I'm captain of the high diving team, president of the science club. I have a date. And now you tell me I'm going to a planet I'd never seen? Great. Young one, your youth blinds you. How insignificant these activities will appear when you assume your role in the great plan of Kaldroth. <laughs> <laughs>
the high master. But, Dad, I just want to groove and hang out. Groove? Hang out? That must be Ronnie. Hi, Connie. Hi, Ronnie. Come on in. Mom, Dad, this is Ronnie. Greetings, Ronnie. Nice to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Conehead. Now I know where Connie gets her good looks. Well, we don't want to be late for the concert. Let's go, Ronnie. Shall we designate time coordinates for your return? Huh? We'll be back by midnight, Dad. When the star cruiser arrives, it won't be a moment too soon for the young one. Beldar, the Monotron Crystal. The star cruiser. Take what for that Klaatu. All hail Kaldroth, high master of eight galaxies. Six. Uh. Yes. Unfortunately, Abkhan, the insistence, seceded with the insurgents of the Muldreek Nebula. Oh, oh no. no. Honey, come here. You gotta see this. One of the rooms in the Conehead house is glowing green. That's no TV. Oh, Barry, don't be silly. Come on to bed. Oh, okay. Here I come. Did you brush your teeth? Oh, yeah, I forgot. So I regret to inform you that because of cutbacks in our space program, there will be no star cruiser to rescue you for some time. Some time? But I... Uh, High Master, you do not know what it is like surviving on this miserable planet. When do you estimate it would be a likely time for us to be prepared to receive a rescue? I do not know. All, All hail Kaldroth, master of six galaxies. That was some concert, huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, what's wrong, Connie? You seem a little down or something. Before I left tonight, my parental units told me I might have to return to... France. <laughs> well, don't go. Come on, give me one of those French kisses. Oh, Ronnie. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Sorry I'm late. That is a minor problem, young one. Sit down. Whoa. We may be stranded on this pathetic planet for eons. Hey, no sweat. I can handle it. Who could that be at this time, coordinate? Greetings. Uh, sorry, Mr. Conehead, but uh, Connie, you left this in the, in the car. Oh, boy. Connie, you removed a sensor ring from your parental unit's sleep chamber? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. And with a human of all creatures. Mibs. Mibs. See you at school tomorrow, Connie. Mibs. 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 Mibs.